Okay, hello YouTube. So today we're going to be doing a quick video on this system we have right here. Uh, this is a telephone line simulator. Uh, what it does is, how it's set up is you could create a basic intercom system between two phones using a 9 volt battery. So these are very basic phones. Uh, these are VTEC, just landline phones. These are the ones that don't have external power supplies. They're powered exclusively using the line. So the only cable these phones have is this is this telephone cable right here. Actually, what you can see is that if you go on the back of it, this phone, uh, the wire just comes straight out of the phone. Like this base doesn't even really do anything. Like the wire goes straight through. So yeah, it's a very basic phone. It has this number pad and some settings and you're going to hang it up in a volume control. But yeah, it's a basic phone. So is this one right here. And how I have it set up is this is a telephone line and this is just a basic telephone cable and it goes to this coupler. So this telephone cable goes to the coupler and then the other phone comes out the coupler into here. And this phone comes into its own coupler and that's how it works. So we have two phones connected by a coupler and what we have in the middle is we have to basically just energize the line and that's achieved using this 9 volt battery. How these phones work is that when you want to just connect two phones together it's just a, uh, a DC power supply which is 9 volts in this case works. You could also use different voltages depending on how long the line is. Uh, this is a short line, so 9 volts is fine. And we also have a uh, potentiometer right here. This is connected as a variable resistor. Uh, what that does is it provides additional volume control, uh, though it's not strictly necessary, I don't think. And it, uh, I don't have a soldering iron with me because I'm in a hotel room right now. Uh, yeah, so I just kind of connected it via twist ties. And this one can get set into here. And the wires are twisted around the legs of the potentiometer for an improvised battery setup. So now it's connected. And uh, to expand this in the future, I would, I, I would want to make the phones able to ring and then like, like actually make a proper telephone network using this system. Because right now it's just a basic intercom system. Uh, there's no way to ring this phone using this phone because to ring it requires 50 volts AC. Uh, right now this is 9 volts DC, no matter what you do on this phone right here or on the other one. So yeah, to actually make it ring you need uh, 50 volts AC and then you'd have to switch between uh, 50 volts AC to 9 volts DC to connect them. Uh, also what I want to do is I want to make a network system. This right here, just two phones, they're connected to each other whether you like it or not. So what I could do is introduce the third phone and have a switching system. But for right now, I think we're just going to demonstrate the capabilities of this system by uh, playing something in here and we're just going to acoustically couple this. Yeah, so the output of the PC is going to go through this phone and come up through, through the other phone. So we're going to play the, the theme song to Blend S. So I think you could hear it right here. Yes, so that's playing. And if you want to hear it, it is playing out of this phone as well. I don't know where the microphone on this is, so let's try some different places. Yeah, so you, you can hear it out of this phone, and when I press this button, it will stop. So that's how it works. When you want to hang up, you press this, and you can just stop that. Music will stop playing. So yeah, th th this is my basic telephone intercom thing system. And what I want to do uh, later is to actually make a computer uh, 
hook up to this via a, a simulated modem connection. And that's going to be what we're going to experiment with later. So for right now, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time.